Hey guys, this is Lisa. Today I wanted to talk about a big mistake that I have made in relationships and friendships for years and years. In fact, I still make it, although I'm trying my best to stop doing it, but it is hard, although at least I've identified it, so I wanted to share it with you. I am disingenuously nice. And what I mean by this is that I'll often say yes to things that I would rather say no to or I'd pretend that I like something even though I don't like it just because I know the other person likes it or I will agree with something I actually disagree with just because I want to keep the peace. It took me a long time to realize that this was a problematic way to be because for the longest time I thought that niceness was a virtue and that I was the good guy for always being as nice as I could, for always sugarcoating all judgment and criticism and for always being extremely conscious of anything that could possibly hurt another person's feelings. I hate conflict and I hate hurting anybody but I also realized that there was a more selfish and kind of darker aspect to this behavior which is that I hate being disliked. I am going to be disingenuously nice, that is, I will say things that are not genuine just because I think they will please people because I fear being disliked and I realized that people-pleasing behavior where you're not yourself just because you want everyone else to like you, that is a problem. And the reason that this is a problem is that number one, you can't please everyone. Two, you're not Mother Teresa and so it's much harder to keep being nice when you don't actually like to do that thing than it is to just say you don't like to do it and get over with the conflict at the beginning. And three, you're actually lying when you say something you don't mean. And so, because of these three reasons, it is a very unproductive behavior. Now, I realize that some amount of like white lying or tact or whatever you want to call it is just a natural part of social etiquette. Like if someone asks you whether they look fat, you should say no at all costs. But to make that your default setting, to always say what you think people want to hear rather than what you really mean, to always choose to be nice rather than being honest, that's what you have to stop doing. That's what I have to stop doing. So why do we do this? Maybe you do it partly because you think it's expected of you or because you're just too tired or couldn't be bothered. You're just too exhausted to deal with conflict. So you just choose the easy way out, which is to be nice. Or maybe you're afraid of hurting someone's ego and therefore you don't want to be honest. Or maybe you don't even know the right answer. You don't even know how you feel. And so instead of putting in the hard work to figure it out, you just sort of say what you think the other person hopes to hear. You know, a great example of this is women faking orgasm, but that is a topic for another video. So let me give you an, a simpler example, a relationship example. Uh, let's say you're trying to break up with someone and you are no longer in love with them, but you want to soften the blow because you're a nice person and you say things like, I'll always love you. It isn't about you, you know, and by doing this, what you're actually doing is giving them false hopes of a reconciliation and making it harder for them to move on. You might even sleep with them again, even though you don't want to because you're so nice. And so what you're doing is you're doing stuff you don't want to do. You're making this other person sort of get misled with false hopes of being with you again. And you're just prolonging the process of healing and moving on for both of you. But it's exactly what the nice person would do in a breakup, isn't it? The bottom line is that for both parties in a relationship, if you are disingenuously nice, it is lose-lose. One, because eventually, if they're really sensitive and caring, they will see through your niceness and be pissed off that you misrepresented yourself to them, even if it was to please them. And if they're too stupid or uninterested to see through that niceness, then you're stuck keeping up all these behaviors that you actually do not want to do. And so you're constantly sort of going to be resentful of them because you're doing all this stuff they don't even know you don't want to do but it's too late for you to admit now because you already said that you're okay with it. It is so much better to deal with conflict as it arises than it is to shove it under the carpet and pretend it isn't there because it doesn't go away. It just explodes later. So to my fellow people pleasers, let's stop pretending that we are nicer than we are. We do have preferences, there are things we don't want to do, and sometimes we do mind. Let's be more honest with ourselves and the world. Let's get better at dealing with conflict. Let's stand for something instead of just riding with the tide and hoping that everyone will like us at any given moment. I'm really working on this for myself, and if you can relate, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and definitely subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.